Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I had a lot of people ask me to make a second video on how to make a violet $5 laser pointer burn. And so yeah, I'm gonna do that for you guys right now. Yeah, so in this video, I'm gonna go more into detail on all the steps. I guess I kind of flew through it on the other one. Sorry about that. Okay, first, I, the very first thing, safety. If you're handling these lasers, you really need to get yourself some laser goggles. Uh, yeah, these will protect your eyes because these lasers really, really are bad for your eyes. So make sure you get some of these. I can post a link on the in the description where you can find one of these. And they have different wavelengths that they block out, so make sure you get one that's right for your laser. I think the very first problem people were having is saying, hey, I don't know how to get the cap off my laser. So, yeah, you really need to get, if it's really on there good, you need to get yourself some pliers. And, yeah, you're going to scuff up the end of it. Maybe you can put, like, a rag or something between it. But you really got to grab it by this. Don't grab it down here because you'll break it off from down here. You don't want that. So grab it from up here, and you just kind of have to wiggle like back and forth like this until you can break the glue all the way around that's how I did it sometimes you'll have to use a lot more force but yeah you'll have to wiggle it around until you can finally pop it off another question I'd get a lot is which way do I turn the lens um, from my experience and with what I guess so I found that y you can use uh, a nice some needles or something like that something long enough and sturdy that it can fit inside those pink holes one of them and you can either you can turn it either way I think like it works either way for me um, but if you want you can turn it uh, counterclockwise just to be safe, just so you don't go down into the diode. So that's, I would recommend going counterclockwise just in case, but it really doesn't matter. So yeah, just find yourself something that you can turn that with. That might be glued in a little bit, so same kind of thing with uh, getting the cap off. You might have to just kind of work at it for a while until you can finally break that glue because it's threaded in. It just, yeah, screwed in pretty much, and you just gotta have to break that glue within those threads. Another question I was getting is that, can you do this with a similar green laser pointer? Um, kinda yes and no. It's a different lens, which means you can't use the Allen wrench or anything long they can turn it with, because they have the different lens style. It's kind of a cone-shaped lens. I will get it out for you right now. What I use is some needle nose pliers because they can fit in there and you can unscrew it with that. And you can just grab the lens on the outside and unscrew it from the laser. Like you turn the laser, hold the lens stationary. See now you'll have, this is the little lens thing. You can see that it came with a little bit of Loctite or yeah, it came with some red Loctite on it. So it may, you may need to jiggle that to get it loose. Don't force it too much, just keep wiggling it. I'll, tr I'll show you what you can do with the green laser. It doesn't cut very well, but you still can burn stuff with it. 